Hello and welcome to OpenMRS University. Today, in preparation for our upcoming 1.9 release, I'm going to show you how to easily test out a new OpenMRS release with your own existing data from a previous OpenMRS version. First off, you need an existing OpenMRS installation that you're an administrator on. Here I have 1.6 running locally, but this will work fine over the network too. Second, you need to install the release testing helper module on the system that you want to pull data from. So I've downloaded this from modules.openmrs.org. I'm going to go to administration and install that module. Um, and finally, you need the OpenMRS standalone distribution for the version that you want to test out. Typically, you'll get this as the latest stable release from the openmrs.org download page, or alternately, you can get a pre-release, also linked from this page. Um, since I'm recording this before we've actually released the 1.9 release candidate, I'm going to use the 1.9 beta, which I got from the pre-releases page. So, here we've got the standalone that I've already unzipped, and I'll start that up on a Mac that's double-clicking on the standalone jar file. So next I'm going to choose Expert Mode. It takes a few minutes to start up, and then you'll see the installation wizard. All right, here we go. So I'll continue in English. Um, and I'm going to choose the testing option, which is going to let me pull data over from an existing production database. So I need to give the URL of the remote system that I want to pull data from. In my case, it's uh, just localhost on a, uh, well, my Tomcat that I've got running 1.6. Um, I give the administrative username and password for that system, and I proceed. So if you haven't yet installed the release testing helper module, you'll be warned about that here. If you have, keep in mind that this module allows someone, someone with an administrative account, but the ability to download your database. So uh, we recommend that you stop the module once you're done with this process. And that's what this warning is up here. Um, all right, so I will continue and um, away we go. So this process is going to copy 100 patients worth of data from my existing system, as well as all of the OMOD files from my modules, over to this standalone installation. Um, in the settings page for the release testing helper module on the server that I'm pulling data from, I can configure how many patients I want to pull. So if I look at the standalone console, I'll see um, some of the data being pulled and I'll see the database updates being run. Since the data I'm pulling over is from OpenMRS 1.6, um, it needs to be updated now to 1.9. So I will pause the recording while these run. So um, we pick back up again after the data has finished loading um, and I think we're in the startup of the logic module, um, but shortly, in fact, we should see the shiny new 1.9 installation. So I can log into this with my same old administrative username and password from my old system, and I can check with the cohort builder um, how many patients, I can just search for all patients, and I should see 100 results. Um, who've been pulled over from my existing system. Um, these are the same names that the patients had on that old system. It was demo data there, it's demo data here, but um, you know, if you are pointing at a production system, you will want to uh, be aware of that, of that. So I can also go check out um, the modules that I've got running here, and um, while I was, well, yeah, 
Uh, I was going to show you that the Groovy module was pulled over from my old system to here, but that doesn't actually seem to have happened. So, uh, well, hopefully by the time you actually try this process with the 1.9 release candidate or the actual 1.9 release, that bug will be fixed. All right. Um, in any case, what I would do next is basically, uh, let's see, play around with 1.9 at this point, and let's go back to the cohort builder and just find a patient that way. Um, I can see um, basically whether 1.9 works with my existing data um, and my existing modules. And you know, if there's any bugs that I find, I can report them on openmrs.org. All right, that's all for today. So catch you next time on OpenMRS University.